All right, so a number of you have been asking, how do I create an email, that email sales letter, and how do I do that effectively with AI? So I'm going to demonstrate. I've got what I'm doing right here. This is a, a live uh, creation on my part. I'm not uh, planning this out. You guys are literally going to watch the sausage being made. Sometimes that's messy. Let me give you a little bit of background. So I'm in a Claude project that I've set up. Um, many of you know I run challenges on a regular basis, and this is for my upcoming Topical Authority Trifecta Challenge. Uh, where I'm going to teach people how to use AI-assisted content marketing to become that go-to expert in their niche. I have some knowledge files that I've uploaded. It's a challenge summary. Basically, it's a summary of a chat that I had with Claude uh, all about the challenge and what's included and all of this and that. And I had it summarized so I could train this. And then I created some custom instructions here. I won't go through all of them, but it's basically the purpose, the key knowledge areas, what's included, all kinds of stuff about uh, what I'm accomplishing here and how to put it all together. So I'm going to point I need to create an email script and how am I going to do that? So we're going to pop into this project and it means it's trained on all this data. So um, I need, let's start with, you know, you're an expert copywriter trained in creating high converting email sales uh, yeah letters will be fine that's fine uh, I need to create an email sales letter to announce my new challenge and encourage readers to sign up. So in a little background, I want to use the tone, let's see, the punchy style of Ken Moskowitz. If you're not familiar with Ken, he's an amazing ad writer. Can't spell his name right now. There we go. Well, almost. And the energy and excitement of Russell Brunson. Now you could put anybody's names in here you want, but one of the things that can be really helpful is if you have people whose style you like, if you can put that in here, that'll really help it engage. Now I'm not really sure where to go next. It's got the training data and everything else, but I'm not necessarily an email marketing expert personally, so I'm just going to say, please ask me any questions you need to create a high converting email sales letter for this challenge. P.S. I'd like to do a series of three emails over the next, let's see here, we've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yeah, so six days. Six days with today being day one and the day of the event being day six. Oops, if I can type it in, there we go. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna put our prompt in, we're gonna see what happens here, and let's pull things up. So, um, let's see here, a couple questions. It's asking what's our biggest pain point or frustration your target audience faces with content creation right now? Um, you know, it depends, but I'm gonna say it's generally um, unknown where to start, what content to create, and to takes too much time. Uh, two, have you run this challenge before? No, although I've run multiple masterminds training this exact content. Those were $1,000 plus three. Um, oh, and it asked me about success stories. So I can also provide success stories and testimonials. Number three. What's your relationship with the email list? Are they mostly cold emails, warm leads? Um, see, they're warm who are familiar with me. My content. All are opt-in emails. 
just important to help and understand. Four. So notice it because of the training data, it knows my price point's already at $97. So a uh, significant discount from $297, a specific reason or deadline. No, I simply want to make this as accessible as possible to serve as many people as I can. And I don't want price to be a detriment. If you guys are familiar with that, I can't type and talk at the same time. It's kind of so we've got that. Um, we've got everything in there. Let me move my picture out of the way over here so I can click the start button. There we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, that didn't go. Let's try again. There we go. Got to click that, and now it's going to start thinking. Let's see. So it's going to use its wonderful feature. I'm going to move over here so we can see it. I absolutely love it when it clicks in artifacts. And that splits the screen if you guys aren't familiar here. And let's see where we come up with. All right. So it's created our first sales email. And then it's going to give us some other things. Let's take a quick look and proofread it. So just because I'm using AI doesn't mean I'm going to copy paste. I want to make sure that we're obviously proofreading it. So let's take a look. Subject, your warning, your content strategy is probably backwards. First name, ever feel like you're in a content creation hamster wheel running faster and faster without getting anywhere? I get it. I used to spend hours staring at blanks where you're wondering what the heck should I write about? Will anyone even care? How do I turn one piece of content into something bigger? Sound familiar? Those are pretty good. Here's the truth. Most people are doing content marketing completely backwards. They're creating random posts, hoping something sticks and wondering why they're not seen as an authority in their space. Boy, that is so true. But what if I could create three plus topical authority blog posts every week, transform each post into seven engaging social media posts, generate uh, two uh, video scripts that position you as the expert all while spending, excuse me, just 60 to 90 minutes a day. Not someday, but eventually. I think we need to clear this. Oh, does it set trends each post into seven? That's good because I want 21 social posts, three posts a day. So that's good. That all makes sense now that I read it. In just three days, introducing the top of authority trifecta challenge. It's a revolutionary three day intensive where I hand you the exact system I've taught my $1,000 plus masterminds, but at a fraction of the cost. Why? Because I'm tired of seeing brilliant people you're stuck in the content creation maze. Here's what you'll get my proven EAT blog framework system. True. Uh, access to our custom trained AI assistant. Also true. I should probably give a little more information there what that means. A 300 plus line topical authority map. That's absolutely true. Complete SOPs. True. And a private Facebook access. All true. The best part, you implement everything during the challenge. This isn't some watch and wait training. And that's true if you want to. You'll walk away with a three months of content planned and ready to go. A complete system that can run in four to five hours a week. The confidence of knowing exactly what to create and why. But here's the catch. It's limited to just 100 people. So it's not limited. So I do need to I need to remove that. This is why you proofread everything. I don't know where it got that from. And at $97, normally these spots will go fast. So that's also true. Um, I think there's a little confusion between the 297. It's actually what I charge just to do the topical authority content map. So we'll probably change that here. Uh, ready to stop spinning your wheels and start building authority. Click here to join the challenge. See you on the side. P.S. Remember, it's the same system I've taught in my thousand plus dollar masterminds. The only difference I've streamlined it into a three day challenge. Yeah, that's true. And to get rid of the spot. So we're going to go ahead and take that. That's going to work. And we're literally going to now put this into my email marketing system. We're going to schedule it and get it to go out. But I want to show you how simple it can be to do that. Now, we're not done though yet because while that's challenge one, I want to now go on and talk about next the next two emails. So now let's do email number two. Remember, I told that I want to do three emails. I wanted to send reminders as we go through. So it's going to go ahead to the second one. Let's see what we get here. Again, it's always important to remember your objective so you can help guide it along the way. How to create 30 pieces of content in 90 minutes uh, without burning out. What do you think of an extra 10 hours a week? Because that's what happens. You stop writing blog posts, creating social media, getting crickets, recording videos. The math changes everything. I'll take a better look at this, not necessarily on here, but this is this looks good. Um, three hours per blog post, two hours on social media, three hours on video, two hours wondering what to create next. It's 10 hours a week gone. But you'll... Inside the Topical Authority Trifecta Challenge, you'll discover how to transform one piece of content into 10. So we create a, a one piece and we create, that's true, with three videos and we create um, 
seven social media. So that's true. It's 10 pieces. Create three months of materials in just three days. That's also true. Build a content ecosystem that grows your authority. True. And never run out of ideas again. Almost never. I'll probably have to update that. I want to be honest about that. Um, I mean, we're going to give you hundreds of ideas, but that doesn't mean that someday you couldn't run out. Uh, sound impossible? No. Uh, it's thought two. Insert brief success story. So I'll do that from one of my testimonials. Uh, it's all in the system. Here's what you get. Uh, again, I'll double check these things, make sure everything's there. It's it's adding in some values that aren't necessarily accurate. I could do that. I get is trying to make an offer stack, and that's good. Um, but we'll go ahead and adjust that a little bit because I want to make sure that's being accurate. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good for that. Now let's do the last one. Now the final day of email to be sent out about four hours prior to the event. And let's see what we get. Again, I want to give it a little information there why I'm sending it out four hours prior to the event. That way it knows kind of what we're talking about here. So again, it hit on that right at the top, four hours, top of the close is soon. Um, and I'll change that. It starts soon. I don't stop selling just when it starts because we offer replays. So I'll, I'll fix that. Again, so important to be proofreading, guys. So improve, important. Uh, final chance to join starts in four hours. Reality check. Here's what we're going to go over. Again, I need to double check all this. I won't do all that here with you guys. Uh, but, you know, it's hitting all the important stuff. It's even hitting on the fact, which is true. When I do my challenges, the lowest price is what I start with. And then it goes up after the challenge. So it's not going to go to 297 But I need to update it to let it know that after the challenge, that price is going to go up to $147. And I need to fix that again. It's grabbing the price from just the, the content calendar creation, which we normally charge $300 for. And is a thousand dollar mastermind that we've basically shrunk into three days. So um, this looks good. We'll be able to run with most of this. We'll get it taken care of. Uh, and I hope you can see now we are about 11 minutes in and we've created a great, effective challenge. And I want to let you know what I've done here. I didn't need any special training data for. I trained it on the event, but the rest of it, it's coming with just based on the prompt that we used. We'll create some amazing images to go along with this, and we'll put that in an email, and hopefully it'll get us a bunch of subscribers. If you've got any questions about how we put this together, or maybe as you look at this, you go, Jonathan, tell me about this topical authority challenge you're running. Let me know, and I'd be happy to give you information. Make it a great day, everybody, and let me know what other things you'd like to see with AI so that I can create and demonstrate to you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.